This is going to be a tutorial on how I built this uh, mini Slayer Exciter coil. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet and to the point. It has very little components um, and you can see it works just fine. I have a knife switch there with a transistor, resistor, LED, heat sink, battery, and my primary and secondary coils. The secondary being attached to a top load. So let's get to it. Um, you're going to need a transistor. That is the main piece component to this uh, circuit. Um, this is a BD-135. I have used the 2N2222. I've used the TP-31. They all work well. But uh, here we're going to be using the BD-135 with a 47K half watt resistor. You will also need a heat sink. The black one I bought, the other one was harvested from an old PC. Um, I use 28 gauge uh, copper wire, 30 might be better. You'll need some electrical tape, a soldering gun, uh, unless you're going to use a uh, solderless uh, breadboard, which I will demonstrate. You also need some glue. Um, I used a hot glue gun, I used uh, crazy glue and wood glue and um, you're gonna need a multimeter here I just uh, measured and aligned where I wanted my secondary and primary coils to go I used a half inch and a half drill bit so I could insert the secondary coil into the base um, these are 3 8 little blocks of wood that I cut uh, so the primary can set on top of that raised This is one inch PVC cut to six inches in height and the primary is two inch PVC cut to about an inch and a half. I used a 14 gauge stranded wire that I purchased at my local home improvement store. I'm just measuring out five lines. Drilled two holes and now I'm just going to wind that primary. You'll, again, you'll want to use about five windings here. You could use a little more, a little less. And now I'm just tightening that up. And the primary is finished. You'll want to attach uh, two leads coming off the primary with either solder or tape electrical tape and you'll want to do the same once you get the uh, secondary winding done so here is basically the layout you've got your battery your heat sink your transistor your LED resistor and your switch so let's wind the secondary up this is just a little uh, hand winder that I use with the reed switch attached to the calculator it just goes a little faster but you can certainly hand wind it Put some electrical tape on the ends. I'm going to test my uh, coil to make sure I have connection here. You can find some uh, aluminum step flashing uh, in the roofing department in your local hardware store. Find a template, make a mark, cut it out. Um, I actually use this washer for my template as my top load and I just cut four pieces out of one flashing. It was like 42 cents for that. I found this aluminum um, rod in the uh, hobby section and then I just used um, four or three washers to separate you know each aluminum circle and that's how I created the top load and then I just simply soldered um, the top lead to the aluminum post and I did sand that now that everything is complete and I've stained my wood now and have glued the secondary and primary and the top load together, I've made my leads coming off look nice. That's some heat shrink tubing there. And so we're ready to wire it up and test it out. All right, let's go over the wiring for the circuit. This is the transistor. Again, I'm using the BD-135. The base is gonna be on the right 
the collector is in the middle and the emitter is on the left. You will need to know this depending on what transistor you use, they may be different. I've got my secondary coil with the top lead and the bottom lead and then I've got my primary with two leads coming off of that. I've got my LED, my resistor, my knife switch, and the 9 volt battery. So you're going to want to first connect your secondary bottom lead to the base on the transistor. You're going to want to take the LED positive side, which would be the longer side, and hook that up to the emitter, and then the negative shorter side of the LED to the base. Now you'll connect the transistor to the base, and this doesn't matter which side you use for the transistor. And now you'll take your primary leads and you'll attach one lead to the collector, and then you're going to connect the other lead to the resistor. Now um, you can take the positive side and attach that to the resistor. And then on the knife switch, I've just got the uh, negative going to the emitter, and then which is the negative to the battery. And then that basically, when open and close, it just completes that circuit. If for some reason the circuit's not working, you may need to reverse your connections on the primary coil. So now that we've gone through uh, the wiring, uh, let's go ahead and attach it to the breadboard. So here I'm just uh, wiring it to this little uh, solderless breadboard. And now the last thing to do is connect the positive to the resistor and the negative to the emitter of the transistor. And voila. And let's see if it works. Now that we know everything's working, we're going to go ahead and attach everything and solder it up. The heat sink is installed, the battery holder, the knife switch, uh, the transistor is installed. The wires are running cleanly underneath the uh, heat sink. And so we're ready to go here. We're just going to solder it up. Okay, everything is now complete and in working order. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you and good luck with your project. Thanks for watching.